Well, Ultimate Akira has a brand new slicer, an update on Kira Slicer 5.9.0 beta. So let's show you how to add a 3D printer to this slicer. Hey, Zach here, welcome to this video. Yes, Ultimaker Cura 5.9.0 beta. Just a little remark, betas can give you a great opportunity to get a sneak peek of what is going to come for the official release. And well, I have been covering Cura a long, long time. And I think somewhere when it was 3.7 or 4.0, something like that. So I'm very stoked about this. So let's dive right in. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. So if you want to get the new Ultimaker Cura 5.9.0 beta, there's a little website. It's uh, it's right over here. You can get it for several of the operating systems, Linux, Mac OS, but also in my case, Windows. And so we are going for the execute. After that, you will download it. And once that is done, just follow the instructions like you normally do on your Windows application for your choice. So once that is done, you have this starting screen. New scarf seam settings for less prominent Z, Z seam. Every single time when your nozzle is going to print something on your nice heat bed from your 3d printer it has a start and it has a stop point and then it continues for the next layer and you can choose where you want to have the seam so in this case there is a scarf and as you can see on the right hand side you have a straight line that is the z seam and it it is very noticeable but in this case it, it is going to try to blend it in with the rest of the print you will still see a little bit but not as much as previously also we have here a new sketch printers and it is for the maker bot we have also conditional statements for start and end decode uh, more reliable printing over spares infill and then also a lot of new features and improvement you can read the whole thing once you have downloaded the new beta version of cura first things first this is your build plate if you're not familiar with it and you are a brand new user and you saw this video well let me introduce this software really quickly so this is your start this is the screen that you are usually see so let's add a printer to this slice of software so to add a 3d printer to the ultimate cura we click on here here you have the printer name you click it open add printer once there of course, we are not, uh, not going to add an Ultimaker printer. We are going to do a non-Ultimaker printer. We click on it. Add a networked printer. The thing is, this is only for, so far as I know, for printers that are from Ultimaker. So we are going to do a non-networked printer. And then we have here a whole bunch of printers. We are going for a Creality 3D printer. Creality. So which ones are in here? The CR10 versions, the CR20. We have here the CRM4. We have the Ender 3, Ender 3 V2. And now we have here the Creality Ender 3 V3 KA. And we have here the V3 SE. Well, in my case, I'm going to select the Creality V3 KA. Let's add this one. These are all the settings. There is no clipper in here, so we leave it as it is. And then this is your start G code. If you want to read it better, you are going to open it like this and you will see the whole start G code. Also the end G code is also in here. And for the extruder, uh, 1.75 and everything else that is quite normal for this type of printer. I see here that Ultimate Acura is adding number two. So keep that in mind. If you have multiples of the same, and you are going to explore or play with this uh, slicing software always make sure and keep track of where it is so next normally what always happens is if you are going to add a 3d printer to ultimate Acura, it is going to select this printer directly so as you can see here in the left hand corner the v3 ka number two it's right here the generic pla 0.4 millimeter nozzle the nozzle size it's always here underneath the pla or underneath the filament and the filament type and we are going to add a model to this i'm going for a very nice and cool print it is going to be believe it or not i'm going to print 
a banshee so and here we have the banshee on the build plate of the creality and the 3v3 ka with your right mouse mouse button you can pan around the build plate or you can pan the build plate something like that scroll wheel some basic things um, you can see here on this banshee red areas that are the overhangs so if you don't know what an overhang is it is an area that actually needs supports however this is a banshee and a banshee is basically a word that is from the the bigger word bench mark this model will always be used by a lot of 3d printer uh, people to see how well a 3d printer does do something so let's go over the print settings i always go in most cases for standard quality and what does that mean 0.2 millimeter layer height you find it right here on the right hand side standard quality and when you look very carefully you will see 0.2 millimeters and then the quality layer height 0.2 just as it says and we have here some uh, line width the nozzle that we are using is 0.4 always try to match that up you don't want to have 0.2 on a 0.4 nozzle top bottom uh line with everything is 0.4 i have here the custom selection you can also go to other settings as well maybe basic and you will get a whole lot less possibilities to play with so wall thickness 0.8 so that means two lines next to each other if we are going to slice this model then in the preview you can see how many walls are, there are going to be you can always up this line counts to uh, for example three three lines the top bottom top layers four bottom layers four infill density it's 20 percent we can go down to 10 percent it's going to be cubic you have here a whole list we are going to go for the normal Let, let's go for uh, gyroid sorry i'm a gyroid guy the printing temperature this comes to the material you are using in this case we are going to print this banshee with pla so in that regard we are going to up the temperature a little bit but still depending on which kind of filament brand you are using and what is their recommended print speed for the nozzle in my case 210 the build plate temperature is going to be 60 print speed here is 300 i don't know why it is yellow if you are going here to the custom selection you will get some more things to play with so 210 plate so the print speed is 300 the infill speed is also 300 it's going really quick and fast that's how i like it wall speed is 50 you also have a travel speed of 250 so this is going to be a really fun thing to do the cooling enable cooling of course you are going to print with pla a parts cooling is needed it's not the hot end of cooling it's the parts cooling fan uh supports this model doesn't need any supports build plate adhesion i'm going to go for a skirt three lines and then we have here some other things to play with let's leave it like this we click this away and we are going to click on slice so according to this the print the benchy will take one hour and 20 minutes and so after slicing you will go to preview and you see exactly how the banshee will be printed on your 3d printer well take a closer look you see the skirt is like i said three three lines and well let's export it to the printer since this is the creality tka and it is a network printer we are going to click on save to disk and then i'm going to select my creality n3 ka it is sitting on my desktop is a special folder so once i have saved the model to this folder i go to the web interface using the ip address from my creality and the 3v3 ka and then i'm going to import that model and then once that is done i click on the model and i'm going to do the start print so once you are printing the print on the creality ka or some other 3d printers you might see that especially for the clipper based 3d printers that the time in cura looks different because in cura this model will take one hour and 20 minutes and yet if i'm looking in the slicer we are printing for 27 minutes and it is already printing the top layer from the bow so not one hour and 20 minutes no it will be much shorter 
And there you have it. A Banshee printed in 50 minutes instead of one hour and 20 minutes. So 30 minutes faster than in Cura Slicer. This is looking amazing. This is Poly Maker, Poly Light. It is a beautiful color. This is one of my favorite Poly Maker colors. Check the link in the description if you also want, want to have those amazing Poly Maker filaments. There you have it, a nice printed Banshee on the Creality KA using the latest Ultimaker Cura 5.9.0. Beta. Hey, if you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. And if you didn't know that, now you know. If you are new here and not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and like this video. And let me know in the comments, what are you going to print when, when using Ultimaker Cura? Let me know in the comments.